What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 4v4 domination gameplay on the map Octane. I don't even know if I've ever brought an Octane domination gameplay before. We usually don't do that well on it. This time, we 100-point clubbed them. This is from the semifinals of that tournament I was talking about in my last video. The kids, of course, thought we were cheating. We only played one side because we 100-point clubbed them. They didn't want to play the second side. So, yeah, and uh, real quick, you, my guys might be able to hear my computer overheating because today is going to be a continuation kind of of the Q&A. I got a question that could I can make an entire video on, so that's what I'm doing. But I got to read it, so you might be able to hear my computer overheat for now, so I'm sorry. But um, it's from Prices6, spelled P-R-Y-C-E-S-6, and he says, Hey Max, I know your Q&A was already done, but I hope you could answer this question or possibly in your next tips video. How to know which role each member should play best role for an SMG in all game modes, and also what roles do you and each of your, each member of your team play? Thanks, sorry for multiple questions. Okay, so let me get this set up again. Um, okay, so first of all, it is completely fine that you had multiple questions, there's no problem with that. Uh, that your, for your first question as to knowing how to know which role to play, this involves a lot of experimentation, especially if you're just starting out, you don't really know. Also, if you're on a brand new team and you don't know any of the three other people, you got to experiment around, see what works best for them, see what works for you. Um, notice the type of play style you have and what weapons you're going to. If you are best with an SMG or an AR, that will help narrow down your choices and your roles. Also, you know, if you're playing extremely aggressive or very passive, that will also uh, kind of determine your role. So it's a lot of experimentation, you just got to kind of look at it and you know you can be watching some pro players see how they do their roles, you know how does their team's slayer play, how does their OBJ play and just kind of see if you're matching up with that. You don't have to of course be on their skill level with it but see if you're doing the same sort of things and yeah. Alright, your next question, um, roles for SMG in all game modes. So for SMG typically you are going to be the bomb carrier, aka the OBJ player, or the support player for the bomb carrier. So you're going to be playing fairly aggressive in SD. Your job is to get up there, get that bomb down, or help somebody get the bomb down, and then just kind of watch it in close quarters. Uh, maybe doing some flanking, some quick flanks or something, but typically, you know, you're just going to be bomber support. Uh, for domination, you're going to be the OBJ or support, usually, again. Um, sometimes I've seen some submachine gun slayers in domination. It's a little bit rare, but it can happen. Uh, so you're gonna normally be going for the B flag or trying setting up around it, get some trophies down. Uh, you know, basically OBJ and support and respawn is almost the same thing. Uh, you're pretty much just trading off roles as it goes, just depending on who gets to the B flag. Um, then for blitz, you're probably gonna be the OBJ player, um, although since Blitz, a lot of times there's a lot of SMGs, especially if it's Freight, everybody's using SMGs usually, you kind of can pick between any role you really want. Um, typically though, it's just going to be an OBJ role or a Slay role, there's not really a support role. Um, you're either sneaking caps, you're relaying caps, or you're getting set up on a spawn trap somewhere. So those are the roles for Blitz. And then you asked about the roles on my team. So for me, I'm probably the simplest one. I am just Slayer in everything. So that means I'm getting set up on spawn traps, watching overextends, watching the flank, um, just trying to stay alive and get the kills. That doesn't always happen, and then my teammates have to pick up. You know, they got to start slaying some. Of course, you know, everybody's got to trade off roles a little bit as the game progresses. But for me, I'm typically the Slayer. Um, for Plizix or Alex, he plays the OBJ role in respawn game type, so he's capping flags, um, capping portal things, whatever, and then he's usually the support player in S and D, so he's gonna help our bomb carrier get that down, put some trophies down, smoke it, something like that, push up, make sure he doesn't die. And then Quadi or Levi, he is the OBJ player in S and D, so he's bomb carrier, and then him and the next player I talk about are both hybrids in respawn of a support obj and slayer just depending on the map um so him and avhe i don't know how to pronounce it or noah 
Um, they're both the hybrid support OBJ Slayer kind of thing. So just depending on the map, sometimes they're using an AR, sometimes they're using a sub. Um, it keeps our opponents guessing some and it works better for them because there are some maps that they don't want to run an AR on or don't want to run a sub on and they're more comfortable somewhere else. So it works out well for us, keeps our opponents guessing, like I said. So those are the roles that we play. Hopefully I answered your question to your satisfaction. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.